drug that doctors hope will relieve the debilitating itching of chronic eczema has shown some promising results in early trials. So we're taking action for your health tonight with information on a local doctor who is using it and how it's working for one very happy man. I took pictures last week, right. and they're even less red now than they were a week ago. Right. There's laughter in Dr. Seth Foreman's office because after a lifetime of suffering from eczema, Wayne King's condition is finally showing some improvement. It's almost like an allergic reaction a patient has to him or herself. It can cause extremely itchy, dry skin, usually in the folds of the skin. Many cases are mild, however, some can be debilitating and even disabling. When I have a flare-up, it's like a second-degree sunburn from head to toe when you're sitting on a pile of fire, fire ants. I've tried everything under the sun, really, from prednisone to solumedrol to <coughs> cyclosporin, methotrexate, you name it, I've tried it. The problem, Dr. Foreman says, is most current treatments only work temporarily or come with some tough side effects. Prednisone can cause diabetes, it can cause weight gain, it can cause fluid retention, it can cause increased appetite, it can make it very difficult to sleep. Enter Dipilumab, a new drug Dr. Foreman is testing as part of a clinical trial. Dipilumab, which is injected, interferes with the activity of two key proteins that play a critical role in the inflammatory processes that fuel eczema. For our patient right now had probably the worst eczema I had ever seen he, from head to toe. His hands and his feet were swollen. His face was completely red and swollen. And after about a week or two, he's almost entirely clear. It's, it's changed our life. When I came here, I said, I really want us to have a good Christmas, yeah. but we're going to have a good Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, that's how much better he's gotten in a short amount of time. Well, this drug is not yet FDA approved. It's still in phase two clinical trials, but Dr. Foreman is still enrolling patients. So if you have severe eczema and would like more information on that trial, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado WFTS under pages and like the page and I'll link you to some information.